Okay, let's get our last group out here. The last group of imp imp improvisationers. Are right, you guys ready? They look pretty nervous. Are they a little nervous? Why don't we just give a round of applause? Just get the confidence. Out here. So this is a uh, board of trustees meeting at St. Francis University, and uh, they're discussing moving the campus because they realize it's obviously it's it's February, and everybody's freezing. And then obviously it's February in Loreto, so the uh, the the, uh, the disaster that you'll be dealing with is a blizzard, and uh, the blizzard is uh, the blizzard shuts down power first. And then it starts. Then the snow starts coming in the room. Eventually, you're concerned with suffocation. This is a real situation. This happened last year. <laughs> the president barely escaped with his life. All right, you ready? They're like, no. You ready? Action. <laughs> Started off. So if you thought 
that the, uh, what, what was this about? Oh yeah, yeah, the, the, the Stoke Secret Passage. If that's, if that's your, uh, if that's your boat, let, let's hear it. I can't be with people like that. Alright. Okay. What about Superman in a candle shop? President Van Tassel, the Board of Trustees, and the Blizzard. I didn't expect that. Um, all right, real quick, for number two, ready? Cheers! share the love, you know? We don't want anybody to walk away feeling like they're a loser or second place. Dude, I think you get to keep the skateboard. Come on! Give her the, give her the skateboard, too. You keep the newspaper, that's yours. Take the skateboard. Do I get this? some kind of lesson. We're going to make some vague association with the spirit of St. Francis yet to be determined. I'm going to make it up as we go. Um, so, uh, one, thank you for everybody who participated. It was awesome. Two, in the midst of chaos, there can be like joy. There can be reason. And in the midst of these scenarios, whether it was a bathroom chaos or uh, a chaos of other times, there was, there was kind of someone who was in the midst, like, uh, Big building up the chaos, and there was someone who was trying to bring reason in the midst of chaos. And see, the St. Francis is so awesome because he brings reason in the midst of chaos. He helps us in the midst of difficulties because he shows love in the midst of hatred. He shows peace in the midst of despair. So I'm gonna bring, invite up the prayer ministers to come on forward, and they're gonna talk about the prayer of St. Francis which I'm going to put up at this time. Boom, if you haven't heard it. So, the prayer of St. Francis is, I don't know why that's mislabeled. Boo, uh, Wikipedia, for your bad labeling of that prayer. Uh, it's called the prayer of St. Francis. Actually, St. Francis did not write the prayer of St. Francis. The prayer, come on up guys, don't hide in the corners. Come show yourselves in the light. Um, so, the prayer of St. Francis was not written by St. Francis. Uh, the, it was actually written after World War I. A group of Franciscans got together and they decided after this war, after this devastation, that they were going to try to write a prayer that would bring peace in the midst of the difficulty. And so they wrote this prayer together and the prayer ministers are going to talk a little bit about it. 